Hi, I'm Ashlyn and welcome to Theory Tuesdays at the Contemporary Classroom. In today's video, I wanted to share my experience with Urban Teachers, which is an alternative certification program offered in DC, Baltimore, and Dallas. I will be sharing my pros and cons of the program, so if you're thinking about jumping into the teaching field, you can weigh the benefits and costs of an alternative program like Urban Teachers. If you find these types of videos helpful, please let me know in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And for now, let's get into the video. So Urban Teachers is an alternative certification program. And what this means is if you choose to pursue certification for teaching, which often will open the door for more jobs and opportunities in every state, if you do an alternative certification program, you don't have to go to either traditional grad school or to get your bachelor's again in order to become certified. So programs like Teach for America, Urban Teachers, or some local programs like, for instance, in New York, we have the New York Teaching Fellows are all examples of alternative certification programs. So what appealed to me about Urban Teachers over some other programs like Teach for America was their gradual release model. So what this looked like is that you started in a classroom from day one. However, you are not the teacher of record. You are not like have all the responsibility of teaching and all the responsibility of caring for these students thrust upon you. You were coached by this other teacher who was a master or veteran teacher in their craft and you were coached by them slowly. So you would first, you know, still get to know the students and maybe you would teach like one block a day. And then as the year went by, the teacher would gradually release these responsibilities onto you and so you would be taking more of the instructional time. At the same time, you would be taking courses for toward a master's degree. So it's a combination of gradual release model of actual teaching and mentoring and coaching, plus the graduate school component. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are the cons or negative experiences that I had with the Urban Teachers program. And I want to put a disclaimer out there that Overall, I do think very positively about the program. It's just that my personal experience was negative. So for me, like I mentioned, my big draw and major interest in doing Urban Teachers was the gradual release model. But the school that I was paired with, it was a new, I guess, partnership with the program and they didn't realize that it was like a gradual release thing. So we did a co-teaching model but from day one, I was the teacher of record in a kindergarten classroom with like no experience whatsoever. And even though my co-teacher was a wonderful woman who definitely gave me like a lot of support, it wasn't her duty or responsibility to kind of like look over me. We kind of split up the tasks. Like I did the math part of instruction and she did the English language arts part of instruction. And I took on like pretty much all the teachers responsibilities, as did my other colleagues who worked at this school, this was really overwhelming for me and I had almost no time to myself and also the salary was pretty low. I want to say it was close to like $20,000 and I was doing pretty much the work of a full-time teacher and balancing grad school and having to pay for that also and it just to me like really wasn't worth it. On the academic side of everything, so for urban teachers, they contract with Johns Hopkins University but one thing that I feel like they don't make very clear in their disclaimer is that it's not that they have like Johns Hopkins professors coming in and teaching you. And I'm not saying that to be like a great teacher that you should have like a doctorate. I actually like if you watch my Hunter video, you'll clearly see that I don't think that at all. And actually one of the best teachers I ever had was the teacher who taught us how to do elementary math. All of her lessons, she had us like working and grappling with math problems. It was extremely fascinating and she did not have like a PhD or anything like that. She was just a really good math teacher. Not all teachers were like this. I wouldn't have much of a problem with this if everyone was great or if it wasn't as expensive. The cost of this program was discounted in the sense that it was $40,000 for the whole two years of the education part. 
And Johns Hopkins normally is $40,000 for each year. $40,000 is still a lot of money in my opinion because now I'm at Hunter and it's about $5,000 per semester. So this is a traditional certification program that puts me like way in less debt. In addition, there was a few questionable pedagogy moves. Urban Teachers, I think is a pretty like progressive program in that one of the pros, which I'll talk about later, is we really focus like on the students' experiences. It was a little bit hypocritical because we learned some things, like for instance, our classroom management class in this program was using like Doug Lamov's Teach Like a Champion. And for those of you who don't know, that's the founder of Uncommon Schools and they use a no excuses approach, which basically controls black and brown bodies. They say that the best way to educate a student is to like a disciplined student that basically like is like a robot. I'm going to try and put some things over here so you can just see the excerpts and the language use that it just like doesn't describe kids and let them be kids. And so, like I said, that was the foundation of our classroom management class. And I think that is so like mismatched in terms of for urban students, that's not the type of pedagogy that you want to be teaching people and implementing in the class. I would say overall, for the most part, we did have a pretty strong social justice approach in the program. It's just there were certain classes like that and there were just certain teachers that just did not model effective teaching and were just really boring and a lot of people did not like them. So those are some thoughts I had on the more like negative or con side of things you might want to consider if you are pursuing alternative certification. So now in terms of the pros of the program, I will hands down definitely say the people in the program were amazing. The conversations I had, like people were very open about discussion, discussing issues about race and being willing to talk about it and not being afraid and that these topics are like taboo. In addition, like a lot of my colleagues, like even now that, you know, finished with the program and are now in still in their schools and teaching are still very committed to like the social justice aspect of it. They are going to protest, standing up for Black Lives Matter and just making sure that their like teaching is always focused on like equity and justice. And just being around like-minded people like that was such an enriching experience that I just feel like I'm not really getting it now in my traditional program. And another thing that I thought was a major pro of Urban Teachers and one of the reasons why I decided to join was the coaching and mentoring. So I was actually really fortunate, even though I didn't have some of the greatest teachers in some of my cycles, I did have a really great coach. Like she was just amazing. And when she would come in, she would really help me like rework my lesson plans, even some that I thought were pretty good. She would point out like specifically like what wasn't working in my class and she really like targeted like where I should grow. And as a person who really thrives on feedback, I really liked that aspect of the program. The fact that I was able to get that on like day one of like going into my school was amazing. And my final pro is I think what is another really important thing is that sometimes when you do alternative certification programs, when you're working and doing your mentoring, you get to jump into a classroom. And so working with students, I feel like is why most people want to be teachers. And so to get your hands in and to know like this amazing group of students is just like one of the greatest pros. Sometimes I know we're remote now, so it might have not made a difference, but like other peers in my program at Hunter have not seen students this whole year that they've been in this program. But if you do an alternative certification program because you're like pretty much like based in the classroom, you really get that experience. And that to me is so much more valuable than textbook experience because a textbook can't standardize like what every unique child like brings into the class. And it's truly like a roller coaster every single day. Like students are amazing. And so to be able to have that time and be coached with students, again, I wish that my program looked a little different in that I actually got that gradual release. So I wasn't like a stress case. But I do think that that model is great to be in the classroom because I think that's how you learn best. And I think that's a better way to become a teacher, to really know that you're like cut out for it and to really know that to learn all these things that students are doing and refine your practice in the actual classroom. So those are the pros that I feel that come with both urban teachers and alternative certification programs in general. And if any of those things appeal to you, you may want to consider doing alternative certification instead of regular certification. 
So those are my pros and cons with my experience with the Urban Teachers Alternative Certification Program. With a few tweaks, I do believe in the Urban Teachers model for certification, even though my experience wasn't representative of that. Let me know what you think in the comments below, your thoughts if you're pursuing alternative certification or how your certification program looks like in a traditional classroom. And if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to continue learning with us. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.